Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We mentioned this on the, early, um, on the early stream, but we have to talk about it again because it's very important. And the thing we have to talk about is that Voyager is destroyed. Well, they actually halted all trading options in preparation to be destroyed. Now, regardless of what happens, I think they're screwed either way because they've lost a lot of trust. And because of their exposure to Three Arrows Capital, they're down $700 million, which they really can't get back. So they're, I think, pretty much insolvent, and they will need Sam Bagman Fried or FTX to come bail them out. So we're going to go over this in depth because Voyager did actually announce this on their website. If you have assets in Voyager, hopefully, I think you could, might still have a chance somewhat to get them out. But hopefully, you know, once they lower the withdrawal limit to $10,000, I said about two or three weeks ago, that you should get as much out as you can. Hopefully, you listen to that and got as much out as you can. Because $10,000 per day is generally not a huge limiter for most people. But now, if you haven't gotten money out, you cannot get money out anymore. So today, Voyager made the difficult but necessary decision to temporarily suspend trading, deposits, withdrawals, and loyalty rewards, effective at 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on July 1st. So uh, essentially, um, it was uh, 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time, July 1st. So they've been spent about, about 12 hours now. This provides time to continue exploring strategic alternatives, i.e. save, please come and save us because we're screwed, and preserve the value of Voyager platform we have built together. We are in discussions with various parties and will provide additional information at the appropriate time. More information can be found. So where, well, when will I be able to access the assets on the platform? We understand the significant impact of this decision and we are working quickly to lift the suspension of trading deposits, rewards, and little tier rewards. We will uh, provide updated information as soon as it becomes available. We, uh, I think Celsius said something like that and after a couple of weeks, they are still down. The thing is like when these platforms do this, it's because they don't want everyone to withdraw all at once. So like if everyone withdraws all at once, then they don't actually have the money they need to actually pay back debt and pay back creditors. So they, a lot of times they just want your money to pay back creditors because in their terms of service, in the fine print, they say that if the um, platform goes down, I don't know if Voyager says this, but I know a lot of uh, services say this, that if the uh, if the uh, if something goes wrong and they're in debt, they can actually use your assets to pay their debt. And like generally depositors deposits are really Voyager property um, or something like that. I think that's what Coinbase says. I'm pretty sure that's what uh, other services say as well. So they don't want you withdrawing your assets because if you withdraw your assets and they don't have access to their assets anymore and they can actually use your assets to actually take care of their problems. Obviously, that's not good for you. Is the app still working? You will still be able to view market data and track your portfolio in the app. You will receive rewards payments for the month of June, and we plan to continue to pay monthly rewards in July. So the rewards are still there. I have a Voyager debit card. How is it impacted by this announcement? Your Voyager, your debit card will stop working, so don't use your Voyager debit card. It doesn't work. You will need to stop any direct deposits currently going into the account connected to your debit card, as well as any automatic payments made from that account. So cut off everything from that account. What does exploring strategic alternatives mean? Is Voyager up for sale? We are discussions, we're in discussions with various parties to, with, uh, regarding additional liquidity and go forward strategy for the company. While we don't have anything else to share today, we are looking, uh, we're working diligently and hope to have more information to share soon. But we also know that they don't say this, but Sam Bankman Freed and Almeida has actually uh, offered to bail Voyager out for X amount of money and they actually might end up buying Voyager. Basically, exploring strategic alternatives means we're out of money, we're kind of screwed, and we need people's help. Um, obviously, like what's happening at Three Arrows Capital, uh, 3AC essentially is broke, they're insolvent, 3AC just filed for bankruptcy to protect their US assets, and they owe Voyager $700,000, which is, Voyager is never going to get. So I think you're kind of a little bit screwed on Voyager, not as much as you are screwed on Celsius, but it is very, very tenuous uh, information. Uh, time indeed if you're on Voyager. And yes, you are actually going to be, I think like um, Voyager will ab either be acquired or destroyed. Don't really know which one, but either required or uh, either acquired or destroyed. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hope you got all your assets out. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.